What is up guys, today we're gonna be talking about creation points, obviously they came with 5.0 and I really wanted to make a video about them to show you guys um, my opinions about creation points and how you should, you know, mingle with them and use them, spend them, etc, etc. Before we get started, I wanted to say that I'm not gonna go into extremely much detail because uh, I really wanna start making shorter videos so you guys would enjoy them more. I mean, I don't know if you enjoy shorter videos more or longer videos more, but please let me know in the comments below and one more very important thing uh, one of my guildy really guild guildies really wanted to say uh, hello to YouTube there he is he's saying hello to YouTube hello to all of you guys uh, on his behalf yeah cool so creation points as much as you level the more creation points you get they are right here uh, at the bottom of your experience bar on top of your experience bar and um, yeah it even says how much you receive you click this button or shift you by default and you get to this particular screen now you have six stats that you can use these points into. You have four transformations that you can use these points into, and you have a lot of skills eventually, not in this patch, but later on, that you could use um, the creation points uh, to spend them on, yeah? Cool. Some important things that you guys should know is that none of these um, attributes actually boost your white values for your character. Yeah. So as an example, what I mean is that HP has a white value and a green value. Now the white value comes, for example, from from the gear, um, how much the gear is enchanted, etc. And the green value comes from other things, like for example, um, mana stones. Yeah. And also as another example these attributes so if I would be to use a couple of points in health for example 91 more health I would apply the changes and you would see that it actually boosted my green value not my white value this is actually very important and to me it it is a little bit of a letdown and it makes all of this boost character section in terms of you know pumping your skills up with creation points a little bit less attractive than it was before uh, the patch hit and I actually found out that this is how it works. So that's because every buff, for example, that you get, like if we're talking about HP, you get a buff from a chant or a cleric, whatever, bard, 10% more HP. Now the, the the HP that is calculated for that 10%, for you to get the 10% extra, is the white one, always is like that. So it works the same with attack, for example, yeah? It's the white value and if I, for example, have a skill like Divine Fury boosts my HP by 30%. Now, it's not going to boost my my green value by 30%. It's just going to boost my white value and it's actually not even going to boost my white value. It's just going to boost the value from my weapon. Because, for example, if I take my weapon off, my white value becomes 102 from 700 and whatever it was, 780. So... It's 680 the value that I'm going to get another 30% for. So I thought in my silly mind that all of these stats would actually be really cool and boost your white ones. So it will be really interesting to juggle with them depending on what class you are. But in any case, at least you know and... Um, they are just like mana stones, yeah? So whichever stat fits you best, then go ahead and do it. For physical DPSs, I highly recommend power. Um, obviously, knowledge is bread and butter for the magical classes. Uh, accuracy, if you're missing crit, for example, especially in PvP. Uh, in PvE, I highly doubt you're going to be missing crit. Um, so, yeah, I PvE power is king, physical defense and attack, really good stuff. Health also good for clerics, will good for clerics uh, because of the magic resist, if you have magic resist set. Agility, this is actually I think agility is the shittiest um, attribute from all of the six. Don't get me wrong, I love concentration, uh, but I loved it in 1.6, that was kind of five years ago. So 2016, people don't really use concentration, even though in some circumstances, even in PvE, concentration is more like a... PvP stat, let's say, so you don't really get interrupted that often, but anyway, even in PvE, sometimes concentration would be great to have. I don't think anyone's going to spec into this because of too few creation points until 75, so yeah. Let's move onwards, guys. Transformation skills, uh, you have four of them. I don't recommend using any in PvE maybe the earth transformation the water transformation in pve is absolute garbage uh, the fire transformation as a dps in pve um, 
means absolutely nothing it's garbage um, and the wind transformation I haven't even used it in PvE once didn't even read the description in PvE I only put it sometimes in PvP it depends who I'm fighting yeah you can respec you can have all of them at the same time but you cannot use them all of all at the same time so you know you can respec during combat or whatever whenever you feel like it if you're really fast on your keys but these transformation skills are more for pvp obviously the more you enchant them the more they cost unlike uh, boost character section uh, the attributes so later on when we get to level a little bit more um, then we're obviously going to have the second row of the transformation skills which is something super amazing but i'm going to talk about that when i'm going to be 75 yeah cool Moving onwards to boost skills, I'm not going to get into super many details about this one. I'm going to make a, a guide for Templars in terms of uh, creativity points. Probably one for Assassins as well, since I kind of have started to play my Assassin a lot. Um, but some classes prefer upgrading their skills instead of upgrading their basic stats. Of course, at the moment, let's say I'm level 69 and I put, I'm a healing cleric and I do PvE and I put 20 in health, I put 20 in will and then what else am I going to put in PvE? Obviously, I'm going to go to skills and put in skills instead of a transformation or instead of any other basic um, attribute yeah so it depends on the class i'm not going to get into each class i kind of have an idea and i know what, what my friends are using for example but this video is going to be too long if you're interested uh, ask me in the comments below you know tell me your class i'm going to ask my friends and um yeah as a templar since we're here i'm um, until level 70 three or 74 even i'm never going to use any other skills besides uh, blood sword slash in pve and um, break power um, and blood slower slash in uh, pvp these are the two skills that i usually boost um, after i max my power yeah cool that's about it um, i wish you guys lots of love in the meantime uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, see you in my next video